Okay, so I'm still using the same e-file that I've been using from the beginning. Love it. Super affordable. But I did get these replacement bits um, for it. These aren't the ones for it. And they were sticking out way too much, I think. But they did go in a really good amount. So they did work. They were just looked kind of funny to me because it was sticking out. And also, um, I don't know if I just got used to using the dull ones that I was using because I was using them for so long but these things are vicious they're really coarse so I mean it took off the nail polish amazing because it they were new obviously and it's I don't know it's just really fast to take off the nail polish but definitely had to be careful with these because they were really sharp and yeah they worked really well and I even had it on the lowest setting. So I just took off the gel polish and I cut them down just a little bit with these. And everything I use will be linked and listed in the description box like always. And also still using this smaller brush. Really like it. I feel like I work better with a smaller brush. Um, this is the primer that I'm using. The, it is from Mia Secret. Now, the, my nails look kind of brownish. It's not, they're not like dirty or anything. It's just from, not the last set I had, but the set before that. It was a colored acrylic. I tried to just sand it off instead of taking a whole, doing a whole new set. So, there's a little bit left on there. No big deal because I'm not putting like clear over it or anything. So, I'm going to take a little bit of clear acrylic and I'm just going to fill in I think there's three nails that I'm going to do regular just with clear acrylic Then I got this bad boy ready because I'm going to be using it next and I'm going to take a nude acrylic which is that one right there and I'm going to do my two fingers, just two fingers and I'm going to fill it from the top. They just need to be filled but I figured it would work because I just needed the top to be nude anyway so I'm just filling it like I regularly would and then I just added a little bit more at the bottom to kind of make a point in the middle because I knew I was gonna need some in that area and I didn't I didn't take it too much down to the bottom because I knew that I needed to kind of scrape it off in that area anyways and I just did some extra sanding on the bottom of my nail so it'd be a little bit thinner so I wouldn't have to put any acrylic and try to take it off on the bottom if that makes sense you'll see right now so I'm taking the little exacto knife, I don't even know what this is called, but I'm taking that and I'm just going kind of like in an upside down triangle shape and then, so I'm just kind of making the shape with the blade and then I'm scraping the rest of the acrylic off and I'm doing that on both sides. And I'm doing each finger separate so the acrylic doesn't dry, so I got to do them one by one. And then after I get it all scraped off, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the liquid and kind of take any excess off and make sure it's got a clean line. And after I did that to both nails and let it dry, I went in with a file just to sharpen up that line and make sure each of those lines are straight. And for the glitter on the bottom of the nail, I mixed it myself. I just mixed a glitter that I had and a clear acrylic. Uh, I think I showed it in maybe a past one or two videos. I think I've showed it in two videos already. So I just mixed the glitter with the clear acrylic. 
and I'm just going to add that to the bottom half, the rest of my nail basically on the bottom. And I just want to make sure it's filled and completely like glittered out and up against that upside down triangle edge. Just want to make sure it's to the edge because I'm going to apply clear on top anyways. But I don't want to go over that edge. I want to try to keep it clean as possible. And then I just wanted to encapsulate the glitter that I put, so I put a clear on top. I didn't really pay too much attention to the top half of my nail where the nude acrylic is. I just wanted to make sure I clear, I put it over that glitter acrylic. And I like my nails super thin, so of course these little guys are pretty thick for me. <laughs> But I always have hope that I can file it down enough to where I'm satisfied with how thin it is. So then I'm just going to take a nail file and try to start shaping them the way I want. Anytime I do like encapsulated glitter or anything like this, they always come out super thick. So I have to do a lot of sanding. And then I'm going to take this little bit from the set. And because I know I put it a lot thicker than normal, I'm going to go around my cuticle. It just kind of takes anything lifts anything up that's stuck or it's just too thick and I like doing that just because it's I feel like I would cut myself a lot less if I did it with that than a regular thicker sander then I'm going to take the this one with the soft edge the rounded edge because I did not want to cut myself and I was going super slow with this because like I said they are pretty strong and so I was just going slow and I like that it had this round edge so I felt a little bit more safer that I wasn't going to cut around my cuticle. <laughs> And if you don't want to use one of these, you can always use one of the small brown sanders. This is actually my one of my favorites to use. I really like using these. I feel a lot safer that I'm not going to cut myself. These also come with this drill set that comes with a lot of them. So we always have those. They work really well. So I'm just doing showing you guys how I do it with that one too. It's basically the same thing, but I feel like it takes a little bit more time, but it works really well. I'm going to take the skinniest one from this set and I'm going to file underneath or sand underneath my nail because I do have some natural nail growth. I used to hate when I go to a nail salon and they didn't do this when they clearly seen my nail was super long under there. It would bother me so much. So I'm just going to do that a little bit on underneath the nail. So for the polish, I'm using a red from a set that I bought a while back. I, I've gotten so many uses out of this, <laughs> this set. I have linked it for you guys in the past and I've shown so many looks with this. I think it comes with a set of six. So I used one of the reds from, I think it's the only red from that set. 
and I applied it on the three of my fingers and I did it twice. I gave it two coats, then I cured it, and then I'm gonna take the clear coat, which again, I've talked about many times. This is one of my favorites. Well, it's my favorite clear coat, and I just did it on the two nails that have the glitter on them, and then the rest of the nails, the red ones, after they were cured, I applied a matte top gel coat and um again these are super affordable nail polishes and they work really well on acrylics i have not tried them on natural nails but they work amazing and they're again super affordable and don't forget your cuticle oil That's